Now we've got the fuel pump back, the next job is to time the engine. To time the engine we have the instruction book and it refers to the fuel injection commence this is about 18 degrees before top centre. So we bar the engine round to 18 degrees before top dead centre then set the fuel pump at spill port closure. To demonstrate spill port closure this is a section fuel pump and as I lift the plunger that is when spill port closure takes place. From there onwards the fuel pump injects fuel into the cylinder. This is the delivery valve that we remove and the spring that keeps it loaded up. Let's undo the delivery valve holder and inside we have a spring and that is the delivery valve. Basically it's a non-return valve so when the pump pumps the fuel up the injector pipe it can't return back into the pump. There's a seat and a collar. We then replace the delivery valve holder without the delivery valve in. We tighten the delivery valve holder up and fit a short length of injector pipe with an angled end on. This will be used to check the spill port closure. We've set up a temporary fuel supply to the fuel pump. Move there, make sure the rack's in maximum fuel. And when we turn the fuel supply on, the fuel runs straight through the pump and drips out our little pipe. And as the plunger lifts, the flow's slowly decreasing until it starts. Touch mark on. A bit more. Oh, hang on. Right, touch more, just a touch. And as you can see, that is spill port closure. The plunger's lifted up and it's covered the ports where the fuel goes into the plunger prior to it delivering fuel to the cylinder. Now that the fuel pump is set at spill port closure, we can undo the drive flange, bar the crank into the correct position and then refit the bolts in the flange and then recheck it always remembering to always bar the engine the direction of rotation to take up all the backlash in the gear train we bar the engine round to 18 degrees before top dead center on number eight cylinder The sleeve on number 8 cylinder is at the top of its stroke, so we know it's on its firing position. The engine runs anti-clockwise viewed at the flywheel, so on the, if counted the divisions to give it, make it 18 degrees before top dead centre.